There is a particular order that God wants us to follow. When we don't follow that order, things are going to get chaotic. Exposers. You may want to expose Joel Osteen. You want to, you may want to expose T.D. Jakes, Paula White, and all the rest. You are not supposed to do that. If anything, what you're supposed to do, if they are not teaching right, what you should do is confront those people face to face, if you can, call the person, email, so on and so on. But what you don't do is drag a person's name in the mud. You don't do that. You don't do that. And let me say this too. From what I have seen, many of the exposers are in sin as well. So how in the world can you expose someone when you are not right with God yourself. You are exposing sin within teachers, preachers, bishops, apostles, so on and so on. But there is sin within you. You are constantly sinning. How can you expose anyone while you are in sin yourself. How about you expose yourself? Hey, this is the time I masturbate. This is the time I look at porn. This is the time I cheat on my wife and husband. I curse, I swear, I steal. I do all of these things that God does not want me to do. How about you expose yourself? If you are so anxious to expose people, not anxious, but motivated to expose people, how about you expose yourself? Well, it doesn't make sense to expose myself, but it makes more sense to expose other people. You are wrong. What you are doing is evil. Let's go to Romans 2 and 1. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. How can you feel comfortable to expose people while you are in sin? I don't get it. When I was in sin, I was not really like in deep sin. I was not interested in telling people about God. <laughs> I was doing so many bad things. I was interested in doing the things that I wanted to do. I was not really caring about other people. But how would it would have, how would it look being the way that I was coming on YouTube or speaking to other people, you need to change your ways. You need to stop having sex before marriage. You need to stop stealing, cursing, and all this other stuff. How would it look? Listen, man, please, please, please listen. When you do foolish things like that, this is why so many people believe that Christians are hypocrites, which you can't be a hypocrite and a Christian, or you can't be, how can you be a Christian and a hypocrite? No, if you are a hypocrite, you can't be a Christian. You are showing people the wrong example. You are supposed to draw people more to God, not away from God. People are going to look at your life before they fully listen to you. Your life is a larger ministry than what you speak. 
I know for myself, if someone is trying to correct me, and if I find out that they are in great sin, I am not going to be so willing to listen to that person. How are you going to tell me to do right when you are not living that life? When you are not about that life, as some people say. How can you tell me anything if you are not living that way? The Bible teaches against that. If you are going to correct a person, make sure that you are right with God. That you are following his rules and regulations. It is hypocritical to try to teach anyone anything about God while you are in sin. I remember this person <clears throat> was telling me, I don't think this person minds if I say this, but this person was telling me that this person was telling their co-workers about how they should change and I guess this person was teaching the co-workers about God, I guess. And the co-workers were like, you do this and you do that. How can you teach us about God? And they are right. They are completely right. Now, what that person was saying was not wrong, but because that person was not living the life that person should have been living, so how can that person say anything to anyone else that are in sin? That should make sense. Romans 2 and 1. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges. Okay. For wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest doest the same things. So what is that saying there? You are saying this person is a false prophet. This person is a false teacher. False prophet, false teacher. But wait, what about you? You are not doing right by God. How can you expose? You are trying to tell others what is right, but you are wrong. I don't know if that makes any sense. That is hypocritical. That is evil. You can't call yourself a Christian when you do evil things like that. The fact that you don't feel bad about correcting people while you in sin, that is telling so many people so much about you. The fact that you can speak poorly about people all day long and not feel any guilty conscience about that while you are in sin, that is saying so much about it about yourself. Hey, it is not about me. It is about them. So since they are in the public eye, I can criticize them. Evil. Evil. To the point where you know the truth because you are judging that person, right? So obviously you, you know the truth but you are choosing to go against the truth and talk about others that are not going with the truth either. And some people wonder how others go to hell. It is not that people don't know the truth. People are just wicked. They are just evil. They just don't want to do right. I know that there is a God. I know that there is Satan, demons, hell, heaven, and stuff like that. But hey, I am going to do me. I am going to do what makes me feel good, whether it is accepted by God or not.
evil, evil. But when curses come upon that person, why is this happening to me? What is going on? I pray that this makes sense. Stop exposing people. Do it in the right way. If someone is doing something wrong, confront that person. Contact that person. Bring more people with you if you have to. You never, ever, ever drag a person's name in the mud. You never do that. Nowhere in, in the Bible is it going to say that you have the choice to drag a person's name in the mud. You can't find that in the Bible. You can't because it is wrong. For instance, if someone comments to me telling me that once saved, always saved, that doctrine is right. What I do, I don't name the preachers and say, hey, what you need to do is stop listening to these corrupt preachers. I don't do that. What I do, I correct that person with what the Bible says. Like, hey, I can show you in the Bible where this once saved, always saved doctrine is wrong. I don't have to talk about the preachers. I don't. I can show them in scripture where they are wrong at. So when you teach people the truth, they are going to stay away from people who are not speaking the truth. So you don't have to name the people or speak poorly about the people that are doing wrong. What you should do is pray for those people, not slander or gossip about those people. Like I said, if you are going to expose anyone, expose yourself. I am in sin. I fornicate. I steal, I curse, I backstab, I do all of those things. I am exposing myself. You should expose yourself. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.